Today we've got a fun power query challenge that is all about combining two sets of answers, one from a manager and one from an expert. They both answered up to 10 questions, but not every question got a response from both people. Our job is to put the answers together into one table with a twist. We'll use the manager's response first. If the manager didn't answer a question, we'll grab the expert's response. Ready? Let's dive right in. First, let's bring one of the tables into Power Query. We need to bring both the manager's and the expert's answers together in one place. To do that, we'll stack the two tables on top of each other. To quickly stack them, we can use ampersand symbol or select append queries. The manager's table should be on the top and the expert's at the bottom. By combining the tables, we get all the answers in one view. This will make it easier to compare which answers we have and decide which one to prioritize. Let's remove the rows that don't have any answers. Not every question has a response and that's ok, but we don't want to deal with the rows where nobody answered at all. Now we want to make sure that every question is listed in the final table, even if there were no responses at all. So let's create a simple list of questions from Q1 to Q10. Let's create a new step and type figure brackets 1 dot dot 10. This is how we can generate a list of consecutive numbers. Now we need to add Q hyphen before our numbers. To do this, let's use list transform function. The first argument is our list and the second is our transformation function. Each Q hyphen ampersand text form open the brackets underscore and close the brackets. Text form function is needed because we can't concatenate text and numbers. Now the list is complete. Let's transform it into a table. We can change the column name right here. Question ID. Now comes the important part, matching each question with its response and deciding whose answer to use. We'll add a custom column to do this. Click on the Add column tab in Power Query, select custom column and let's type answers. Now each question is connected to combined answers table, but we don't need all the rows. Let's use table select rows function. The condition is following x in parentheses. This is a placeholder for each item in the list. Question ID refers to the specific question ID you are interested in. X question ID. This is the question ID for the current item in the list. So the filter condition means for each answer in the list represented by X, check if the question ID of the answer X question ID matches the specific question ID you are interested in. Question ID. This is how we can filter down the rows that have common question ID. Now each question has two, one or zero answers. If there are two answers, we should grab the upper one, which is the manager's response. If there is only one, we can take it also. To get the upper value, let's type figure brackets 0 in our formula. Now let's specify the column name, response. As you see, two questions number 7 and number 8 weren't answered at all, so their respective tables weren't existent at all. We can use try otherwise expression to handle these errors. We should now have a clean list of 10 questions with the correct responses given priority to the manager's answers. See ya!